Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris from weartesters.com. Today we have a performance review on a classic and a personal favorite of mine, the Jordan Team 1. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right guys, so starting off with the base of the shoe, we have full length herringbone, works really well. However, it's not aggressive herringbone that we'd see on newer models where the herringbone itself makes up the entire outsole. These guys are more recessed, which is like into the rubber itself. So while I remember them as a kid being really, really sticky on all court conditions and all surfaces, uh, they aren't quite the same as I remember. I probably just remember them being as good as they were because it was my only pair of shoes back then. But it's adequate traction. It definitely gets a job done. However, it's not gonna be as grippy or sticky as some of the newer stuff. As far as cushion goes, you have heel and forefoot zoom air embedded within this Phylon midsole. They're still really comfortable. The ride itself is a little bit taller and thicker than the original versions. So that's something that I wish they would have kind of kept the same just because you do feel a little bit more lifted off the ground. However, with a little bit of extra break in time, you're gonna be fine in these guys and you're gonna be covered with that four foot zoom and the heel zoom as well, which gives you a nice springy responsiveness with a pillowy kind of feel to it. The entire upper on this guy here is a synthetic coated leather. It's a split grain leather, which means it's a very thin cut of the cow. And then they have a polyurethane or PU coat sprayed on top of it, which gives it its texture, its support structure, as well as its color and things like that. So um, as far as like this compared to the original, the original was far nicer as far as like overall quality. But as far as functionality goes, this stuff is a little bit more supportive. With that, you have to break these in a lot more. So just keep that in mind. However, I still like leather uppers like this when you compare them to a newer setup like a Fuse, but some people might have the exact opposite feelings towards it. So whichever you'd like, there's something out there for everyone, whether you like Fuse or raw materials such as this. So just go ahead and go with your personal preference. As far as their fit goes, I think that they run a little bit big. I went a half a size down from my normal size, so that's just something to keep in mind. Wide footers, I would just go with your true size because they're a little bit roomy up front. As far as lockdown is concerned, the midfoot's pretty much fine, so is the heel. The one thing is though is that the materials start off really, really stiff, so to get that kind of mold with your foot movement, that's gonna take quite a while. After the break-in process is complete though, they feel really, really nice on foot. As far as ventilation goes, basically all you have it is through this tongue, and even then it's not well ventilated, but it is nicely padded. So um, you're gonna be able to lace these up pretty tightly so that your foot does not slide around inside the shoe with that moisture buildup. The overall support comes from the fit. There's also a TPU shank here for torsional support, which I like. Again, flexibility and things like that. You're gonna have to break these in until you really feel everything. It's gonna take a little while, but once you do, I think that the support is pretty much adequate. It's a 90 style shoe and it plays that way. You have a nice wide stable base and uh, basically you're gonna be able to be covered no matter what your movements are. All right guys, so that pretty much takes care of everything. Even though these are a personal favorite of mine, they're definitely not as good as I remember. They're still really comfortable though. The one thing though is that that leather is just not quite the same. It takes a lot more time to break in. However, it is a lot more durable. So there are pluses and minuses to it. If you wanted to pick these up, you can now over at finishline.com. Link is gonna be in the description box below. For more information, you can always go to my site, weartesters.com. So until next time guys, have a good one.